Hey there, folks. I'm Adam McCabe with Inside the Magic, and I've got some interesting news from uh, Orlando. Hurricane Matthew is steadily approaching Central Florida as a Category 4 with winds that may go beyond 145 miles per hour when it hits the coasts. It's no joke, and the attractions of Central Florida are taking the situation very seriously. Walt Disney World will be closing their theme parks, their water parks, their shopping district, their golf courses, and their sports complex later today at 5 p.m. to encourage guests to stay indoors and be safe. All of these locations will remain closed throughout Friday, although operations are expected to resume on Saturday, October 8th. Additionally, their Halloween event, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, has been canceled for the evening. Folks, this is only the fourth time since opening day that Disney has closed its doors, three times in anticipation of hurricanes. The first was for two days in 1999 for Hurricane Jean, followed by closure on another day the same year for Hurricane Floyd. And while not due to a hurricane, the park was evacuated on 9-11. For Hurricane Matthew, Disney has already evacuated their Fort Wilderness campground, the bungalows at their Polynesian Village property, and the treehouse villas at Saratoga Springs Resort. These guests have been moved to alternate accommodations by Disney as a safety measure. Their Orlando properties are not the only ones that Disney is closing. Disney's Vero Beach Resort and their Hilton Head Island Resort in South Carolina have also been closed due to Hurricane Matthew with the Vero Beach property being evacuated as of 11 a.m. this morning. It is incredibly rare for the parks to close their doors to guests, but this speaks to the serious nature of the approaching storm. Some news outlets are reporting that when Hurricane Matthew hits the coasts, the damage will be of catastrophic proportions, possibly exceeding even that of Katrina and Sandy. The National Weather Service states that we should expect widespread outages and winds that exceed the hurricanes of 2004 that will launch debris capable of breaching structures. With this potentially being the worst storm Florida has seen in 18 years, these park closures are completely in line with what is best for their guests. For Inside the Magic, I'm Adam McCabe. Stay safe.